Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. Nicole, don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push and you'll have to make a really awkward phone call. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act? Have you heard of it? Will you shut the fuck up? Well, hey! You're going off about copyright and shit. You can't even tie your shoes. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Quicker is all? You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. But what's wrong about sounding like a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite. Second to anime. You are so fucking pathetic. I hope you kill yourself while your mom watches. Hold on, you told him kill yourself while your mom watches? Yeah. That's really good. I know, right? And that didn't get you written up? Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. Well, hold on. What's your textbook there? It's for government. Why? Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I'll be right back. What the fuck? This should do it. Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh. I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong, because you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not going to write me up? It's the no child left behind act sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. So, why did you feel the need to break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole... Is there a hostility towards government class? Are you really not going to write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? Uh, because our government hates women. Excuse me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, huh? Using violence to spread your message? If you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principal. Come with me. Getting warmer. Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Join the club, Jekka. I can sit with you if you want. No, fuck off. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Must you play dumb with me? No, seriously, is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Well, if not for communism, why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women, that's what I told him. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. This isn't the first time he's referred to feminism as communism. See? He's fucking insane. He wants to rape women and force them to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with ya. So, are you writing me up, or...? Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym teacher. Wait, but I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your reasons, but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different, now wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. Nice try, Nicole. I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Just some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. What was that last part? I said I wish the Holocaust happened. I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. Oh. Well, I wish it happened more. Then that fuck wouldn't be here. So this is remedial classes. Why is lunch at like 10.30? It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Kyler, was that a negative remark I just heard? Oh, this fucking guy. It wasn't even negative. How's calling something bullshit negative, huh? 
Do you recall our chat last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? Why don't you come with me for a refresher? Hey, talking. Talking's for gay people. What a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. Why does he have to be right in front of my locker? Yo, yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like... I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Is it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? My boyfriend's an MS-13. I have the pass. Okay, so what? 175? How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an X, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. Oh, look at this. Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um, okay? What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes. You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so we just never existed to you? But they're making all this up. I don't understand. I am a virgin. Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokemon before going down on me? 493? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them. Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life while finishing. Oh, no. You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. I need you to pay for my treatment. And you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. (laughs) I gotta go! What the? Karen, no! Come back! I feel... (sighs) better. Yeah, I don't even feel like selling this quad anymore. We can just go back and steal all that stuff. Drop me off after, though. Yeah, okay. Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my god. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to. Where did you even get... Ugh, you're so stupid. Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No, dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general. Just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, so why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I I can't believe you! God, that felt good. Wish I could say that to my mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Huh.